Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to VGC Worlds 2016 where this week we are featuring a jump off team. Now this is 100% based on Arash Maddie's team. Um, hmm. um, he, he hasn't published his team anywhere but um, from looking at the VODs from the Nationals he won and everything I was able to um, reproduce it, I believe, to a certain point. So definitely, definitely enjoy using jump love. I mean, there's something special about jump about jump love. And now looks like we are up against a double primal team. Um, the matchup, the matchup is really really scary, and so is the mobile. So I mean, he sees my Veltal against his Cresselia and then therefore that he brings Mowile but then he also sees my Groudon um I don't know there's there's a couple of things that could go weird or wrong here what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna lead with both of my restricted Pokemon which is oh wow and there's a level 1 Smirgle which I had not noticed actually the level one smirgle pretty much forces me to lead kangaskhan actually and yeah kangaskhan kangaskhan evelta with crowdon and thunderous so sorry about not bringing jump love but priority number one is winning these matches and then priority number two is showcasing the whatever featured Pokemon I'm using this week. Um, yesterday we only got to feature Jump Love once, but um, the battle where we did feature Jump Love, he definitely put in a ton of work. Okay, so my opponent leads Cresselia Kyogre. That's probably best case scenario for us. Um, if we had led Eveltal Groudon, like I was planning on doing so, um, Seeing how he has a level 1 Smirgle and a Champ and Mobile and Cresselia, you would assume he's running a Trick Room team. You would assume he's running a Trick Room team. And therefore, my ability from Groudon, which is max speed, would have activated first and I would have been in a lot of trouble. But as it stands now, I can easily fake out Kyogre and knock off Cresselia. I mean, a switch into Mobile is probably coming right now. Yep, there's Mobile. But I don't mind that too, too much. Um, he has no weather control in terms of um, Rayquaza or anything like that. And I mean, he does get a, an Intimidate, which is not ideal. But it's also not the end of the world. And having weather control and his Kyogre not protecting is definitely really good for us. Um, knockoff won't do too much damage to Mobile, especially after Intimidate. But it did an okay amount. So Kyogre flinches. Now, the obvious move here is to switch in Groudon. Right? And I think, I generally think I should switch in Groudon. But in which slot? Does he double up onto Veltal? I'm gonna switch Kangaskhan for Groudon. And I'm gonna protect my Veltal. It's like the obvious play, but it's also a pretty safe one. Um, best case scenario for my opponent, he double targets with something like Ice Beam and Play Rough. And next turn, we pretty much have a free eruption. We generally have a free, all close to 100% eruption, which should damage anything that my opponent has in the back. He actually withdraws Kyogre into Crest. Okay, into Crest. So he's gonna Mega Evolve Mobile. Um, after the Intimidate. Okay, there's some mind games here. Because. I cannot touch Cresselia under underwater, right? Okay, so you play rough to Groudon. Um, 
yeah, he's gonna get the trick room off here. The question is, does he? Does he switch out mobile? Or Kyogre, or does he protect? That play rough did a ton of damage because I am hasty. Um, but does he simply Sugger Punch my Groudon? It's my knockoff. My knockoff's not gonna KO Cresselia. So, I guess I Earth Power Mobile? Or do I switch? I'm gonna Earth Power Mobile and I'm gonna knock off Chris. Wow, that was close. Ah, uh, okay, he switches up Mobile. That makes sense. Um, I'm okay with that. I will get damage off of off on Kyogre uh, with the Earth Power and I will get a, a nice knockoff onto Chris. Um, the Earth Power does very little. And knockoff, is that a crit? No. Not a crit after an intimidate. I cannot KO Cresselia. And he goes for the trick room. So, five turns of trick room, which I cannot keep track of. Gonna have to keep track of that somehow. Okay, I'll write it down in my cell phone. So, calculator. There's. This is the first turn of trick room, or the second one. Second out of five. So now, do I, I mean, yes, Kyogre is a threat, but I can protect, no, yeah, I'm gonna pro, no, 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 protect Groudon and Sucker Punch Kyogre. Two Sucker Punches at that range might be enough to KO Kyogre. Um, Kyogre does go for the attack, and wow, that almost KO'd. So, okay, an Ice Beam onto, onto Veltal, that's fine, and okay, a double Ice Beam, wow. Okay, 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 it's not the worst, um, definitely not the worst. I can bring in Kangaskhan. And I mean, what can Cresselia do? He's shown Trick Room and he has shown Ice Beam. What else would he have? Skill Swap, most likely. And this is the third turn of Trick Room. Now, with the Fake Out, I have 100% guaranteed protection on my Groudon. And through Soccer Punch. I can guarantee to protect. Um, yeah, but Groudon cannot touch Cresselia at all. So I'm gonna bring in Thunderous and I'm gonna fake out Kyogre. If Chris Ice Beams Kangaskhan, as long as he doesn't freeze me, I am completely fine with that. And so he trick roomed, he attacked. Um, oh wow, he didn't even protect. So he's gonna skill swap away my parental bond I'm guessing um, yep okay but that gives me levitate so yeah thunders is looking very very dumb in this scenario well not necessarily dumb mobile comes in I don't mind that I do not mind that at all um, so, here, I can protect Thunders, wow, he can give, well, doesn't really matter, yeah, never mind, um, if I bring in Groudon right now, I don't see anything wrong with that. So this is the fourth turn of Trick Room. So after this one, there's only gonna be one left. And I will have access to Fake Out. Um, my Thunders will be healthy. You would assume his last Pokemon is Groudon, right? Most likely. Um, 
Man, this is a complicated battle. There's a play rough onto Thunderous, perfect, and an Ice Beam onto Thunderous. Even better. Wow. So, I am free to Eruption here. I am free to Eruption and to simply taunt Cresselia. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, if he's Ogre Punches, he's Ogre Punches, that's completely fine. We might see a Mental Herb here. No. Oh, I, I attacked him with knockoff, never mind. Okay, so Thunders might go down here, but it's not the end of the world because this will be the last turn of Trick Room, I believe. And Kangaskhan plus Groudon 100% takes care of whatever he has in the back. And this eruption will KO both Pokemon. Um, so that skill swap didn't really accomplish anything. Both of my opponent's Pokemon go down. Critical hit on Grisilia did not matter. And looks like um, we will be pulling off a win here. Twisted Dimensions return to normal, so we counted those correctly, which I'm glad. And we should see Groudon here from my opponent. Oh, it's actually Smeargle, so never mind. Level 1 Smeargle. Um, fake out almost or super powerful eruption, and that is game. That is absolutely game. So yeah, there we go. Um, GG, Yugi. I believe he was from Mexico, so if you're watching this, um, good game to you. And yeah, no hacks, I don't think, um, in the battle. I, I was really surprised he didn't bring Groudon. But, um, I don't know, level 1 Smirgle. It, it seems like a fun, um, like a fun, a fun strategy to use, and if you pull it off, um, <laughs> it's very interesting to see, but yeah. I think you should almost always lead with it, although, I mean, if, if you're not gonna lead with it, I don't know, the mind games were there, I brought Kangaskhan exclusively to counter that Smurgle. So, Andre from Italy with our Rayogre team. So, this is gonna be a real challenge. For some reason, I really struggle against Rayogre. Especially because I do not know like how much speed the freaking Kyogre has. Um, Rayquaza does pretty well against all my Pokemon except, I don't know, maybe Thunderous. Um, okay, so Thunderous seems like a very obvious lead. Probably with Eveltal, actually, because he does have Cresselia. Um, I do like Intimidate. I do really like the Intimidate, and Jump Love's not coming on for the right this time around either. Gonna go Thunder's Eveltal with Salamence and Groudon in the back. Um, not entirely sure if leading Thunder's is the best idea. And Pharaoh is an issue as well. But I do, I mean, Intimidate seems useful. Mm, now that I think about it, maybe maybe Kangaskhan would have been a wiser choice. He leads Cresselia Kyogre, okay. So probably trying to Icy Wind or something. I do have the knockoff and the Thunderbolt threat, so pretty much the perfect leads for me. The perfect lead advantage. Um, no regular Scarred Kyogre, which could have been another possibility as well. And yeah. I think I go on the offensive right now. I mean, nothing on his side of the team enjoys taking a knockoff, especially not Cresselia. And I mean, Kyogre will most likely protect, but I'd still rather go after it with a Thunderbolt in case Cresselia protects or something weird. But yeah, I'm really surprised my opponent led Cresselia. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, does Cresselia survive? Does it pull up an Icy Wind? What does it do? Does he have a Charty Berry? No, so okay. Perfect first turn, um, critical hit. Mwah. If that's a super physically defensive Cresselia, had a Citrus Berry, might have mattered. But I am a max attack 
um, Iveltal with a Life Orb and with a Dark Aura, so I don't know. Not entirely sure if it mattered or not. The Intimidate lowers my Veltal's attack, but you still saw how much damage I dealt last time around. Now, I do not have. Do not have Hidden Power Ice. But. Hmm. I can definitely protect the Veltal here. I see no reason not to. Um, no switches for my opponent. Salamence doesn't really threaten Thunders too, too much. And any attack I pull off against Kyogre um, reduces Water Spout damage and might be a 2-hit KO because I am max special attack. Not enough to be a 2-hit KO. There's a Hyper Voice. And... Okay. There's a nice beam onto Thunder. It's okay. So Thunder is definitely going down. So now his Salamence is a really big threat. His Salamence is a really big threat. Everything on this team is a big threat. Um he must have right quasa in the back. Right? Okay, I'm gonna bring in my own Salamence. Hyper Voice will not KO either of my Pokemon though. And... Might come down to a Speed Tie at some point, but I can Mega Evolve and Hyper Voice here. And... By using Sucker Punch onto Kyogre... Well, if he protects Kyogre, might be in a lot of trouble. But if he protects Salamence, I would be in a lot of trouble as well if I double target Salamence. Um, maybe double edging Kyogre was the right play here. I don't know, it's a complicated scenario. Okay, no protects, so that means Kyogre is definitely going down. Um, his Salamence uses Hyper Voice, but after my hyper voice damage onto his salamence he should be wow that's a really that's not a naive salamence it's definitely not a naive salamence okay so, so now we are in serious trouble and Groudon oh wow it's Ferrothor and it's not Rayquaza wow it's Ferrothor Wow. Man, it might... Well, probably not. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna protect Salamence. Or do I double protect? Hmm. Does he risk this pit tie? Or... Does he, or do I risk the speed tie? Not too confident on this. Does he protect his elements? Damn it. He, uh, it's gonna come down to a speed tie. Oh, he leech seeded, okay, that's fine. Now I get to, hi oh, wait. No, yeah, I definitely hyper voice. If I win this beat tie, I might get really lucky. Actually, I'm gonna double up on Salamence, I think. No. No, I Hyper Voice. What am I saying? I Hyper Voice Sugar Punch every single time. Okay, he pro Oh, crap. Okay, that's not gonna be a KO. He Gyro Balls. Gonna KO Salamence, but that that's perfectly fine because I bring in Groudon and all I need to do is use Eruption and Sucker Punch and I win because if he doesn't attack with Salamence, um, he doesn't 
reduce the damage from my Groudon and yeah, Pharaoh will never survive the, the eruption and if he does attack then I have him covered with Sucker Punch. So what he actually needed to do was A hope to win the speed tie and then B um, or I guess um, protect or whatever and KO Eveltal with Ferrothorn because that way uh, maybe he could have survived an eruption but yeah I don't think any of those scenarios were likely so there's no way I do not win this match there's literally no way I do not win this match unless I chose the wrong attacks but fortunately for us I do choose the right attacks and we're gonna get another couple of wins um, no jump love unfortunately I really want to use jump love but um, I mean there are scenarios where jump love is great there are some where he isn't great and today's two matches he wasn't really great so hopefully on Thursday if you only watch the English videos you can you get to see jump love in action or if um, if you also watch the Spanish videos, then you must have seen Jump Love yesterday, and if not, I recommend you to. And there's Wednesday and Friday for another chance to see Jump Love in action. So that's it from me, guys. Please leave a like if you can on the video, that really helps me out. And I will see you guys tomorrow or Thursday or whenever. Thank you guys so much, and bye bye.